Welcome on into another video on my channel. Today we're talking Minecraft's future updates, or more specifically, what they could be. Now I tried to keep this list pretty realistic, because I've seen a lot of people saying that, oh, the next update could be for like one specific biome, like a jungle update, but that's just not likely. Mojang doesn't seem to do that anymore. Most of the updates on this list are ones that I could genuinely see being the next major Minecraft update. So without further ado, let's get right into it. To start off this list, I wanted to talk about an update idea that I haven't seen a lot of people mention yet on YouTube. And that is a fantasy or magic update. And we've sort of already had updates like this in the past, with enchanting and things like that. But the fantasy side of Minecraft has been neglected a lot more with recent Minecraft updates. And I have a more in-depth video about that as well that should be popping up in the corner of the screen right about now. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. A lot of people would probably say that magic doesn't fit within Minecraft. And I'm gonna have to strongly disagree with that because that makes no sense at all. Because there's already magic in Minecraft. Mobs like witches and evokers can do it. There's even a death message of blank was slain by blank using magic. So it's officially in the game and actually has been for quite some time now. The thing is though is that the player can't do it. Although recently the wind shards does sort of allow for something like magic to be done by the player. But still not quite, since it is just the use of an item. Though I would love to see an actual spell casting system in the game, and maybe this could be done through some kind of spell casting gloves item, and these could have different tiers with different ores, with netherite being the best. And I would also love to see more fantasy mobs in Minecraft, because a lot of people seem to like the RPG side of Minecraft. Like, even just having more types of dragons would be great. And this update sort of relates to the next update that I'm gonna talk about, and that's a combat update. Of course, this kind of update is desperately needed for Minecraft, especially with the Bedrock version. But I won't talk a lot about these already more talked about update ideas. Still, I would love to see new combat animations and maybe new weapons as well. Now, moving on is another update that I won't talk for too long about here. And that's, of course, the end update. You've probably heard this one everywhere already, because the end is very empty right now and quite desperately in need of a makeover. Similar to the nether update, but for the end, this update should add things like trees to the end to make it more livable, and also an easier way to get in and out of the end after you've already beaten the ender dragon, and maybe new food items in the end as well. Now speaking of food, that leads right into the next update idea, and that is a cooking update. This one is pretty self-explanatory. I would love to see new crops to grow and new recipes to make with food. Also, maybe a better eating system that encourages players to eat different types of food rather than just eating, say, bread or steak for their entire time playing the game. Next update is the Nature or Overworld update. The Overworld especially right now is in quite bad need of ambience. And this could also add the three biome vote losers still remaining, the savanna, desert, and badlands. And those are all the warmer biomes, so they could work nicely together for an update theme. Also copybaras. Just, I, I don't think I need to explain this one, I want copybaras in Minecraft. Moving on, we have the sky update. And I'd actually seen this update being talked about quite a bit before the Caves and Cliffs update was announced. And while we did get some cool new mountains in that update, the sky itself remained unchanged. It's still just empty basically all of the time. Except for some phantoms maybe swooping down on you. <laughs> but we're not going to talk about that right now. Anyway, I would love to see sky islands in the game. 
not necessarily as a new dimension, just as sky islands that can spawn in the overworld from time to time. Now I wouldn't want these to be super common or everywhere because then that could just kind of ruin the view of the sky. But it would be nice to have them spawning occasionally, or maybe in small groups sometimes. As for how to get to these, there could be a few different ways, such as using redstone flying machines. And that actually leads well into the next update that I'm going to talk about. And now that's a redstone or engineering update. This does feel kind of long overdue. And 1.21 is supposed to partly focus on tinkering, actually. But I would like to see an update just dedicated to engineering and Minecraft. Or maybe some kind of a physics update so that we could build moving vehicles. Because there are mods that let you do that, and it is very fun to have in the game. And the last update idea I have on here is a new dimension. This could be accessed by the Ancient City portal, or maybe by a different portal. But I do not want a Skulk dimension. I know a lot of people have been suggesting that recently, but it just doesn't make sense as a dimension because the Deep Dark already exists as a sort of Skulk area. A Skulk Dimension would take away a lot of the uniqueness of the Deep Dark. Not to mention, I don't know about you guys, but I think I've had enough of Skulk for a while. Though this could tie in with the fantasy update idea that I suggested earlier. This could be some kind of a fantasy or sky world dimension. I would want it to be different from the Aether, though because it should be its own unique dimension, not just copying off of a mod. But that's all my update ideas for this video. I've actually got a few more, but I didn't really have time to talk about them in this video. So let me know if you guys want to see a part two of this. But anyway, I always appreciate it if you like and subscribe. And with that, goodbye.